Hello, uh, my name is AC. I'm a member of the ACE Nuclear Free Collective at Friends of the Earth Melbourne. Um, and today I want to show you how to make a peace crane. Um, these peace cranes are made in remembrance of all those who died at the Hiroshima and Nagasaki bombings, nuclear bombings that happened. Um, Hiroshima happened 75 years ago today and Nagasaki was three days later. Um, and they were originally folded by a girl called Sadako, who um, survived the bombings as a two-year-old, um, but 10 years later died from cancers um, that were a result of the radiation she was exposed to in the bombing. And um, she was trying to fold a thousand paper cranes um, as a wish for world peace. Um, she didn't make it to the thousand paper cranes, but after she died, her friends finished the thousand cranes. Um, so yeah, please join me to make hold a paper crane in memory of Sadako and all those who have suffered from nuclear war. Um, you need to start with a square and you want to fold it in half and then unfold it. We're just um, folding it to make the creases. Fold it the other direction and unfold it and then on the diagonal and fold it across and again unfold it and then fold it diagonally across the other way and you end up with a um, these kind of folds and what you want to do at this point is fold it on the diagonal again so you get a triangle and what we want to do is make a diamond shape um, to do that you want to fold in the sides this is a tricky bit, like this on one side. See, even I am a seasoned paper crane maker and I'm having trouble. And then the other side. All these things just take practice. So um, do give it another go if you have trouble the first time around. And you end up with a diamond shape um, with two flaps on the side at the front and two sides, uh, flaps on the side at the back and it's open at the bottom and solid at the top. Now you want to make more creases, um, starting with um, moving this outside line so it's in line with the center line. And you do that just with the front flap on each side and turn it over and fold it in so the outside line is in line with the center line. And then you want to fold the top and make a crease. And then you unfold all of these folds. So now we're going to make a boat shape. We're going to do that by putting, put your um, thumb on that crease that's along the top and open it up at the bottom of the flat. And you open this up. As you're opening it, the sides will kind of come in like a boat shape. And you want to keep opening it and flattening it out all the way until those sides are in line with that center line. That should be, shouldn't be too hard because you've made the crease, um, but it is a little bit fiddly. So there we go, and it ends up looking like that. You want to turn it over and do the same thing again. Put your thumb here along that crease and open it up until you make a boat shape and then keep opening it and flattening it until the sides come in to meet the middle line. And then you're going to end up with something that looks a bit like this. Um, so I like to think of this as the legs part. You've got legs at the bottom. But of course we all know that, that the crane, the bird, has quite skinny legs, so we need to make them a bit smaller. Um, you fold that in half, and again we're taking the outside line and making it line up with the center. On one side, then with the other flap. Turning it over and doing the same on this side. And on that side. And you should end up looking like that with two skinny legs.
Now you want to put your finger um, in between the front flap and the back flap on one side and your other finger on the other hand between the front flap and the back flap on the other side and you want to meet uh, the two flaps at the front together and the two at the back together and turn it sideways so you end up with what looks like a fox face with a very long nose and two ears and now we're going to fold up the fox's nose as far as it's able to go so it's like level with its ears and just doing the front flap again and then turn it over and do the front the back nose as well at this point you want to we're getting pretty close to finishing so you want to make a little head you can see these guys little heads so you fold over just a little bit and give it a pinch and that'll end up being the head of the crane again you put your finger in the side between the front and the back flap and the finger in the side and the front and back flap and you fold the front together and the back together and turn it sideways and then what you've got is actually the wings of the crane and the tail and the head at this point um, you want to slide your thumbs in um, between the wings and I just keep a finger down the bottom to try and push up and with your wings on the side you push gently up and kind of peel it like a banana you want to do this gently sometimes it rips and it puffs up in the middle and that's how you make a peace crane <laughs>